Marijuana Doctors proudly presents Weed Watch, your weekly dose of cannabis news. Our top stories this week. A Colorado bill to allow medical marijuana use by people on probation or parole is on its way to the governor's desk. Colorado has allowed medical marijuana use for 15 years, but not by people on probation or parole. A bill that passed the Senate 34 to 1 Monday would change that policy so those with permission to use marijuana for medical purposes wouldn't be charged with violating parole or probation. The bill has already passed in the House. Meanwhile, House rejects marijuana for veteran amendment by a small margin. In about as close a vote as you can get, the House rejected an amendment Thursday that would have allowed veterans to seek medical marijuana through the Veterans Affair Health System. The amendment, offered by Oregon Democrat Earl Blumenauer, was rejected 210 to 213. While there is no single approach to aiding our nation's veterans, Blumenauer wrote in a press release earlier this week, Medical marijuana is proven to help in treating post-traumatic stress and traumatic brain injuries frequently suffered by veterans. This was the second time that a bill of this nature was rejected. Finally, this past week was the Global Marijuana March, which was first held in 1999 and occurred earlier this week. All over the world, people came together and marched in protest of marijuana prohibition and smoked openly in defiance of cannabis laws. This march was conducted in over 800 cities around the world and in 72 countries and seems to be growing in numbers each year. The Global Marijuana March is a celebration embracing cannabis culture as a personal lifestyle choice. Participants unite to discuss promote, entertain, and educate both consumers and non-consumers alike. And that's it for your weekly dose of cannabis news. Tune in next week for more Weed Watch.